Welcome back to capexforextrading.com. In this video we're going to focus on the importance of a demo trading account and the reason why is because there are a lot of traders out there that start trading in the live markets first rather than use a demo account and also there are traders that use a demo account but they don't use it long enough because they seem to develop a fake confidence that they can trade live markets only to realize that in the long run they get burnt. Now you will always need to practice your strategies. Uh, we've been doing this long enough to know that people change and mold strategies that they are taught into their own versions and rightly so. But even if you follow what you've been taught to the fullest extent, you still need to develop confidence within yourself towards that strategy because it's not your strategy. It is something that someone else has taught you. So if you're going to follow step-by-step -step rules from someone el else, like us for example, you need to make sure that you have a clear one month minimum worth of successful data for that strategy. This will build up your required confidence that your adopted strategy works. Now you can make mistakes in your demo account, but you can't make mistakes in your live account. The market simply won't forgive you. It doesn't care whether you win or lose but the market is always right and you need to adapt to it and that is why a demo account is very important if anything use it to confirm the success rate of your trading strategy now you need to get familiar with market conditions so as we said earlier the market doesn't care about you or what you trade now for some reason some traders fail to accept that they cannot be right 100 percent of the time there is always going to be some factor, event, speech or whatever that will turn the market into the opposite direction to the one that you're trading in. It's nothing to do with you, it's not your fault, but this will never change. So losses are a part of trading and it is up to you to control these losses and the more familiar you are with market conditions, the easier it's going to be. So just remember the market moves in different direction because of factors that have nothing to do with you. But it's up to you to get familiar with these market conditions, the movement and simply be prepared. The third point is something that any Forex professional will confirm and this is that discipline is the most important characteristic that a trader should have. So even though it's important to know when to trade, it's also important to know when not to trade. To stay away from the market knowing that you're not going to make any money is a very hard thing to do. Unfortunately, people trade when they're bored or because they haven't re reached their financial target for the day. You can't do this. These are characteristics of traders who lose. So if you want to be successful at trading, you need to know when to stay away. And if there's any doubt towards the trading setup that you've seen, you need to be disciplined enough to not click the order button. The worst part is if you're wrong, you will see that trade that you purposely didn't enter shoot towards your target and you will say to yourself, I should have took that trade. But to control this emotion and not let it influence the same scenario next time is very hard. But if you succeed, you're halfway there because you, if you don't trade, you don't lose. If you trade incorrectly, however, you do lose, so ensure that you have the required discipline to be strong and confident towards your decisions. Now money management is something that a lot of hedge funds or trading floor managers keep a very close eye on. It comes in many formats, but for example, if you give yourself a $100 daily loss limit, or that could be $5 depending on your total investment, that's a format of money management. It doesn't really matter what the limit is, but if you stick to those rules, that's great money management. If you set a daily limit of let's say $10 and you lose 5 in your first trade, you know that you cannot simply increase the investment in your next trade. In fact, you need to decrease the amount into let's say $2.50 in each trade. So losses incurred should only be recouped through good money management, even if that means that you have to trade twice to break even again. But if you ignore this and double up in the next trade, what happens if you also lose that trade? Well, the answer is that you're in a much worse position 
now than you were earlier and you probably took out your daily limit now so help yourself by using good money management and practice it in a demo account because tomorrow will bring new opportunities even if you fail today now experience without risk you need to feel the wrath of losses and see how it affects you and how you react to it now the risk here is zero as this is obviously a demo account but it will prepare you for when you trade in your live account it is screen time i.e. you looking at your screen and looking and analyzing your charts that will give you the experience and the knowledge that you need to take into the live market if you're trading in a demo account for one month for example or two months and you're still not confident then keep trading it there is literally no time limit to this so you need to make sure that you perfect everything before you move into the live market now practice precision and timing now this refers to the points where you enter and exit the market so every strategy will have its own points of entry and exit and they will be dependent on market conditions surrounding them now through practice you will be able to see with your naked eye where that is so if your timing isn't right or your precision is not precise enough it's a recipe for disaster so ensure that you practice until this is mastered and lastly psychological preparation now 90 percent of traders fail why is that? So trading should be easy, right? Because it's simply a case of following rules. However, it's not a case of being right all the time because losses are a part of trading. But if you're not psychologically prepared to take those losses or to take yourself out of the market or to pick yourself up from everything negative that could possibly happen has happened, it may not be your time yet. You still need more time in the demo account because these negative factors can mentally scar a trader you need to be strong and prepare yourself for everything that the market will bring so for example if you've been taking a hit throughout the week and you end up moving your stop loss further away because the markets all of a sudden reversed you must go back into your demo account because you have broken one of your rules now you should never move your stop loss if the trade has suddenly reversed towards you so trading is a psychological war between yourself and yourself only it's not a war between you and the market so you need to make sure that you're confident and even when you're wrong you're happy enough that tomorrow will bring brand new opportunities so what we've done for you on our website if we can just take you over there for the moment is provide a table of forex brokers that provide demo accounts so if you go to our website capexforextrading.com uh, and then type in for, uh, slash forex dash brokers or simply just click on this forex brokers tab here uh, you will see a table that lists various forex brokers and each one of those brokers on the right hand side here under the demo account uh, column has a link to open a demo account okay so have a little look on the table see which broker you prefer the most simply click one of these links and open a demo account it's all for free it won't cost you anything and it's a perfect opportunity to practice your strategies and take everything that we've discussed in the presentation into the demo account so that concludes this lesson. As usual, leave any comments or, or, or any questions below. Uh, if you want to subscribe to our channel, that would be fantastic. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Plus or Twitter. And we shall see you for the next lesson. Thanks.